Hello everybody and welcome to a Transformers Masterpiece review. Check me doing an official review, not a bootleg. Uh, I'm a little bit late to the party with this guy, but I saw him on offer on Hobby Link Japan and he looks stunning. I always wanted the original art fire, but could never afford him. And when I saw that he was going to be made into a masterpiece. This is MP37 Cybertronian Target Master Sniper Artfire. Quick look around the box. We've got Artfire on the front and the side. And on the rear of the box, we've got him in his vehicle mode. We've got the ladders going up. We've got the end of the ladder flipping over to a nozzle. We've got him here with his Target Master. Uh, the Target Master looks absolutely stunning, by the way. He's got his alternative faces, which I've been told the Inferno, Grapple and Artfire faces are actually compatible with the Open Play Springer. Uh, hopefully, I might have one of those en route. Uh, we shall see. And there he is there with Sound Blaster as well. Uh, I don't know what this says, but uh, I'm sure it's super informative. Uh, I can't think of the guy's name. There is a young man that translates all of these and does all the box art, but in uh, in English. So I may have to see if I can Google him and see if I can <laughs> understand any of this. He comes with his instruction manual. He comes packaged in a plastic clamshell. And he also has a very nice collector's card. That's some really nice art on there. And then we have that pose again then we've got the uh, robot mode and we've got we've got a 10 we've got a 10 there must be something like bravery i'd imagine and of course it states that this is based on the mitsubishi fuso t951 which was a very nice japanese fire engine here he is out of the package and he is gorgeous absolutely stunning uh, accessory wise obviously he has a lot less on the accessory cart compared to his comrades inferno and grapple were quite accessory heavy him not so much he comes with the standard blaster with those masterpiece pegs on the handle he comes with the alternative ah! face plate and he comes with his target master now this little target master is called nightstick now you may recognize the name nightstick that was the name of cyclonus's target master of course he looked like this <laughs> basically nightstick became nebulon so we move him out of the way and fracas became nightstick uh yeah quite uh, gotta love when they confuse continuities and go from japanese to english and different toy lines but anyway i can definitely see third parties basing their target masters on this mold don't get me wrong x trans done a really good job with these but it is too big in comparison to the official and this is just absolutely incredible for a start just look at that face sculpt really really nice we do have rotation on the head there we've got nice ball joints on the shoulders we've got ball joints on the elbows the hands are fixed oh shame on you takara <laughs> uh, the waist is a fixed lump as well but the legs can come this far forwards we've got a fantastic bend at the knee due to the transformation we have a rotation on the knee i i am genuinely really impressed it's a very sleek look to him as well now i don't have the mp09 uh, i would actually like to get him again i've since sold carry uh, i just want to go back to getting some of the official masterpieces i think he scaled really well with the collection so i'm going to look to get an MP09 at TF Nation, I think. But I believe the Hasbro Toys R Us version had a Target Master, which scales pretty well with this guy as well. Now, for all intents and purposes, I'm going to transform him up into his gun so we can mount him on Artfire. To get him changed up, you want to just pull this upper 
torso section upwards. Lift the legs and this is hinged so it's going to come up and over and we're just going to slide these tabs on the back of those feet together. Bring this small piece here downwards, rotate this gun hinge all the way up and this just sits and tabs in there and then rotate the arms on those ball sockets and there's a slot just here the arms are just going to tab in like that on both sides and that is a gorgeous transformation really do like how that's done it's a very clean figure you can just bring this piece here downwards that reveals the handle and we could just pull this piece here backwards and there we go what a great little target master and we can just bring in art fire and there's a slot just in the top of the ladder and there we go <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks so good. Oh, I am over the moon that I got this. Bring the hose up and bring that up, bring that back down so we can have the hose pointing upwards or uh, more favourable for me, I like the second option where we push this down and we thread it through here and have the hose coming out of the front like this. Now, why am I so happy about getting this? It is incredible. Just look at the detailing on there. These aren't stickers. These are actually tempos on here. They've done an absolutely remarkable job. Truly, they have. I mean, just look at the rear section. <laughs> that is gorgeous, isn't it? So, so happy about this. Anyway, enough fanboying around. I literally sound like a small child drooling over a toy, don't I? Just look at those, though. <laughs> Uh, we still get the hollow front section there. I do like the translucent blue they've used on this though. I know that Mastermind Creations done a version of this and it does look very nice if you were lucky enough to get hold of one of those because they were a limited release. But I just think Takara nailed it. They nailed the Inferno figure. It is spot on to the animation. People actually complained that it was too bland. It was too animation accurate as to is grapple and art fire is by far the most vibrant of the three and these tampos really do make him pop here's a bit of variety for you whether it be a third party figure a masterpiece from the cartoon or a movie masterpiece they all look amazing together now, as amazing as that fire is he isn't without his flaws uh, the stabilizers when you pull those out as you can see these are chrome and there is some wear on there where they're rubbing along the inside of this shaft um don't really know how we're going to avoid that uh, it does appear to be the only section which is affected uh, this section goes up and down doesn't appear to be anywhere on there it's just literally on the inside here it may even be kind of a joining sprue mark i'm not sure but it's an imperfection nonetheless now we do have some storage options for his gun if you lift up the ladder his rifle can just be stored in there quite nicely and that does not affect the ladder anyway at all as wonderfully stunning as his alt mode is i bought him to display him in his real alt mode alongside my other headmasters and target masters so without further ado let's transform him up want to bring that back inside cover that up and slide this inside you want to bring this all the way up and then fold it in half bring the ladder down and it pops out the rear end 
slide these front wheels backwards. They just untab from the front end here, bring them outwards and push down this white panel, which collapses inwards, unfold the back sections, grab the front cab and lift this whole piece forwards. If you push down on this rear section, it gives enough leeway under here so we can flip this piece up and over and then untab the side window. We can then lift up our fire's head section, bring these wings upwards and rotate those around and then rotate the whole head around. Now we can just bring the hose down to the side. Grab the arm piece and rotate this whole piece around. Rotate this arm tab down and then using the same hinge, want to slide this back up and this socket is going to just slide in there. We can then bring the arm outwards and give it a bend at the elbow. Open up these red side panels and split the legs. Bring the legs downwards. And with this section here at the rear, we can then bring the torso upwards. If you have the weapon stored on here, now is a good time to remove it because we're gonna bend this hinge upwards. Just rock this piece in and that is going to slide in beautifully. Oh, it's like magic. There is a tab on the inside of that wheel there. That's gonna come in and tab in to the side. Close the little doors back over his backside and then just bring these wheel arches down. Move this section on the leg outwards, bring the foot upwards, pull this tab over and the heel tab across. The hose section will now pull out, slide downwards, tab back in, clicking into place, and then we can close off the front of the legs. There we have a truly stunning masterpiece art fire. Oh, I love him. <laughs> Oh, there's me being a fanboy again. I'm sorry, but just look at those. Oh, that just screams kind of late 80s, early 90s. Doesn't it look incredible? Really beautiful colours on this figure. Oh, they really did do a great job with this mould. I love it. I really do. Uh, the head is really nice love the chrome section here and those nice big silver wings i mean just look at that face sculpt some really nice paintwork going on there he looks very very serious doesn't he <laughs> uh, let's just uh, change out that face sculpt we can just move this section up and just pop this off we can then put the shouting face back on there and then this should just slide into place and just peg in and it's like <laughs> I, I, I can't do it i can't do it i can't have that on there that that just looks crazy uh, he's too excitable uh, this one just looks much more docile and kind of mediocre but I'm, I'm fine with mediocre <laughs> i love the chrome plating on the top of the shoulders there as well if this is your first time uh, experiencing this mold uh, you are really missing out it is gorgeous the head can look up and down we can go left and right on two points the head is actually i think it's ball mounted we can also tilt the head forwards on this neck pivot section here now my actual helmet does have a tendency to keep popping off i don't know if that's a flaw i didn't have that issue with my inferno or grapple it's just with him the mask seems somewhat loose uh, but yes we've got a really nice up and down range using the hinge and the ball joints we could also have a neck swivel as well as the independent head swivel coming down to the shoulders we've got this soft ratchet in the upper shoulder there can come out to the side. I love how that clears 
the wings and the shoulder section because we do have that roller in there as well. Using this same joint, we can actually bring the shoulders forward using it as a butterfly joint as well. Very versatile. We have that upper bicep rotation. We have a very nice bend at the elbow there. Great range. The wrists can rotate. The fingers are extremely stiff. Ugh. But they are pinned very unnatural pose for the fingers, unfortunately. And to get the gun in the hand, you want to slide it down. And as we're sliding it down, you want to pull the fingers in between the ammo cartridge and the handle. Otherwise they get lost out there. And now you're at this point, you want to just bring this as far back into that thumb as you can. Start to bring the fingers over, tabbing it in firmly. And then we can finish that off by bringing the fingers in. And it leaves us with a very natural looking grip on the gun. Probably one of the best I've seen from the Masterpiece line. The waist has a nice rotation left and right and the joint is incredibly stiff but there is an ab joint there as well which allows us to bring the torso forward so we can get some very nice dynamic range. But that is an incredibly stiff joint. The legs are on very nice tight ratchets going forwards and backwards. Bring this out to the side. We've got rotation on the upper thigh. We've got a nice bend on the knee. And then coming down to the ankles, we've got forwards and backwards. And we've also got some very nice deep pivoting. I love how these shin guards can also just come forwards just so we don't get any hindrance at all when posing. Ah, oh, just look at him. What an incredibly well-balanced figure. Now we do get a couple of different options on how to mount our target master as well. We can place him in the hand as if he was a standard gun. Closing off the fist, open up the forearm. You can then pivot out a cone and pivot, pivot back the fist inwards and bring this section round. That closes off. We've got one of these chrome uh, funnels on either fist as well. And as long as you're not scared of fingerprints, just give it a little wiggle and slide that off. And then bring in your target master and there's this groove just on the end here. This can now slide in. There we go. And they then merge and it actually becomes the target master arm, which is actually accurate that's how it is meant to be they are meant to be one and the same it becomes part of his arm takara you have nailed it sometimes you just get a figure and you go wow just wow this is how i feel about art fire i love him i absolutely love him i think he may be my favorite masterpiece figure i own I'm putting him alongside some of the headmasters and target masters we've had from the third parties. He does come up just a little bit short, but that aesthetic is still definitely the same and he does not look out of place. And last but not least, here he is alongside Inferno and Grapple. Now I do like the fact that each one of these guys has a different head sculpt and helmet. Uh, it's really a nice little touch. I think and although they are all in essence the same mold they do look very different indeed the use of uh, the chroma standard on here I think that kind of mixes up where I've put the cartoon style fronts on these obviously we don't get an additional front for art fire but that's not necessarily a bad thing I'm just very happy with how he looks and I wouldn't change him for the world so there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Enough fanboy gushing for one day. Very happy with Artfire and very glad I purchased him when I did. If you like the look of him and you would like to purchase him, I've included a nice little handy link in the description below, which takes you straight through to Hobby Link Japan, 
web page. They've got some really good stuff on at the moment, and they had an amazing sale last month. They had some fantastic pieces go up. Really um, over the moon with this guy, and I am going to need some bigger shelves. <laughs> I just don't have enough room. There's some amazing things coming out at the moment. And yeah, I think my pockets need to be deeper and my shelving needs to be larger. Thank you all for staying for the duration of the video. I know I ramble on sometimes and I know I do get overly energetic and filled with glee. But when I find a good toy that I really like, I can't help but be passionate about it. Until next time from myself and Artfire, thank you for watching. Ah, uh, goodbye.